for hundreds of years, we've kind of adopted a military model for, let's say, the five, last 500 years. We've, we've, the world has pretty well adopted a military mo model where you mount the horse from a certain side, you use him like this, you hold the reins tight, and all the different rules and regulations. And, and in there, all of a sudden, when I started wading through it, I realized this is not about putting the relationship first. This is not about putting a foundation so that the, both the horse and the human are prepared for each other and understanding each other's psychology and, and ways of thinking and, and mannerisms so that they come together in a synergistic way. And it oftentimes is not about never any self-improvement. And all of a sudden I realized this, that horsemanship, if you take care of it, it will take care of you in many, many interesting and fascinating ways. Mm. And it's, it has done that for you, for sure. But tell me, it's, it's an easier path now. Natural horsemanship is a worldwide phenomenon. It's drawing more people all the time, uh, looking at life from the horse's point of view. And you're, you're the person that coined the phrase natural horsemanship, and you're really the leader of the vanguard of that whole movement. So now it's got momentum, it's going somewhere. But how was it back, back then? You were the first person that I'm aware of. People gave riding lessons. People, whether your dis discipline was Western or English, they gave riding lessons. You were the first person I ever saw, and in my history of it, when I've looked around, that started on the ground. You got people to understand their nature. You developed cooperation. You did a series of things on the ground. You solved nearly all problems or made big inroads on the ground. That wasn't heard of. Now, everywhere you go, there's some sort of a template doing similar. It's a wonderful thing. More people are getting exposed sure. to it. So it's a good thing. But how was it back then? Now it's accepted. Back then, you were like a hippie horseman. Yeah, well, I was just going to say, you, you took the words right out of my mouth. You know, a lot of people <clears throat> thought of me or thought of what I was doing as kind of hippie horsemanship. Mm. <clears throat> you know, I came up with the, the term natural horsemanship kind of incidentally because Linda and I were driving uh, from Sydney, Australia, down to Melbourne, and we were talking about things, and I kept saying, you know, I don't want to call this Pirelli horsemanship or anything like that. And, and uh, I said, I want, to, I want to call this something kind of like in, in uh, martial arts. You know, there's martial arts and then there's different veins of it. And I said, I've been... I'm really confused as to what to call what it is I do. And she goes, every other word out of your mouth is natural. Mm. Natural this, natural that. It's natural horsemanship. And it just hit me like that. And I went, that is what this is. It's a natural approach for both the horse and the human. Well, as soon as that word came into play, wow. Did, I mean, I might as well have owned a health food store mm -hmm. and worn sandals and sure. a robe, you know. Sure. And that's, what it, it, that's where this kind of attachment to putting this word natural in front of the word horsemanship. And I, and I actually really think the word horsemanship has not been understood for, you, for a long time. And I think it's been pretty close to extinct, to extinction, because the, the, this part of it, that foundation that both horses and humans need, in order then, because let's just say we use the word training, that's the icing. Let's say race training, jump training, uh, dressage training, reining training, cutting horses roping, rodeo, any all this stuff, that's like the icing that goes on the and, and it really fits well over the top of this horsemanship. So putting those two together, together is I, I saw people really confused, and it was very controversial, this whole thing of playing sure. with horses on the ground. Sure, absolutely. And, and I, got, I got a lot of, lot of snickers, a lot of flack, a lot of skepticism. Was it tough? Was it, uh, relatively young, you'd have been a young man back, back then. It was, you know, really challenging tradition, mm. and horsemanship is known for it. It doesn't change easily or, or rapidly, so it must have been a lot of pressure. I actually think I must thrive on it. So on, I, think on right. I think I must thrive on controversy yeah. because I remember being in, in, in high school in 1969. Uh, my mom, you know, because I got sent home with a note saying, you know, your son can't wear his cowboy hat to school and all this kind of stuff, and she said, you know, when all the other kids were growing their hair long to be different, like everyone else, my son was the only one going to school with a short haircut and a mm. cowboy hat. Sure. And he was the only one that was really different. And I didn't do that to be different. I just was being me. I was being genuine. And I, but I, 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 I fought for it. I stuck to that. I said, this is me. This is what I want to do. I'm not doing this to, to make a show or something. So I think controversy must be something that I thrive on or attracted to. So it, in a sense, it didn't bother me. Was it tough? Of course it was. There were times where just trying to get my sincere message across. Mm -hmm. People looked at me and still do, I think, in ways, in, in controversial ways and, you know, have all kinds of opinions as to what it mm -hmm. is I do. And most people that have opinions have never really seen what I've done. 
We'll be back in just a moment to be able to spend some more time with Mr. Pat Riley. Do you have problems with your horse? Does he bite, kick, rear, or run off? Is he impossible to put on a trailer? Pirelli introduces the simplest and most effective way to change your horse from a nightmare back into the dream you always wanted him to be. The new Get Started Solving Your Problems Naturally DVD has everything you need to learn how to turn your horse into your partner for life. Over the last 30 years, Pirelli Natural Horsemanship has helped millions of horse lovers all over the world solve their problems with their horses. I've dedicated my life to helping horse people worldwide to become so good with horses that even the horse thinks they're brilliant. Get Started is not based on gimmicks aimed at a quick fix, but will address the reasons why you have problems in the first place. There are no problems. There's only solutions waiting to happen. And we're looking for natural solutions. Get started solving your problems with your horse. Don't wait. Go to Pirelli.com slash get started. <laughs> 